hello foodies welcome back to Aj's dishes if you're a returning subscriber i see you if you are new to this channel welcome to Aj's dishes So please add warm water to the dough because warm water helps the yeast to rise. So if you don't use warm water, it is going to be hard for the yeast to rise. I'm not going for a too hard doughy consistency or a too soft consistency. I'm just going for the in-between consistency where it's not too soft or it's not too hard. So stay with me if you want to see how thick or thin my dough is going to turn out. So at this point, once you've incorporated all the water in it, we need to activate the gluten, okay? So we need to keep stirring, kind of like kneading the dough with a, with a stick or with your ladle or with your spatula, any kind of tool you are using. You need to knead it until it gets smooth just like this, until you see that the, the dough is getting really stretchy and it has gone all smooth. Then you know your dough is ready. So look at that. Look at that. It's just stretchy and then smooth. All right. So at this point, you know your dough is ready to be proved. So my dough is done, I need to proof this so I'll just be cleaning my spatula and the edges of my bowl. Now I told you guys about the silicone spatula and it is a lifesaver. If you've not watched my tools every cook must have, I'm going to link it down right here in the top right corner. Go watch it to see what essential tools you should get as a cook. Now that our bowl is all scraped and almost clean. <laughs> We are going to cover it with a clean film and then put this at a warm location or in the um, oven or in the sun. For me, it's a bright, beautiful, sunny day, so I'm just going to put it in the sun for about 15 minutes. And voila, our dough after 50 minutes has proved it is soft, it is airy. Just look at that. It has a lot of air pockets in it, and it's very, very tender at this point. So for pink castle, the um, shape is almost like that of a donut. So this is how I do mine. I scoop a ball like um quantity and then I pierce the middle of the ball with my thumb and my middle finger and then this is how I'm going to place this in the oil so you can look again to see how I'm going to put it in the oil so first step get a scoop of dough just like a ball pierce the middle in between your thumb and your middle finger and then place it in the oil like so okay so let's try it now in the oil So I've already pierced into it, so I'm going to put it in the oil and it's going to drop away from it because I don't want to get the oil splashing to my body. We don't want any kitchen accidents. So guys, this is how you get your pink castle shape. If you've watched this video to this point and you've cooked to this point with me, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification post and hit that thumbs up button. It helps me with my video and my channel. It makes me know that you guys love what I do. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a beautiful nice comment. See you in my next video. Bye.